All right, boys, moment you all have been waiting for. The first startup of the 10 horsepower Chinese diesel clone. Everybody usually pull starts these things when they first start. I am actually gonna use the electric start. You can see I got my jumper cables hooked up there to my off-road lawnmower. So let's give this thing a try. Yikes. Not enough juice. You bigger battery. All right, we're going for Jeep juice this time. Hopefully the results will be much better. I'm not very confident in this table, so I'm gonna have to hold on to this thing, but uh, here goes. Hmm, right, we'll try the compression release. a spark plug or a carburetor, kind of hard to kill these things. It could be a good or a bad thing. In this case, it's not such a good thing. I had the idle all the way down and I cut the fuel off. You saw how long it took it to die, so uh, it'd be nice to figure out a way to kill this thing quicker, but we're not going to worry about that right now. It runs really, really smooth. As you could see, when I got the idle up, it was, I mean, this is a shitty table and it was running really, really smooth, so I'm quite pleased with that. Like I said, I just wish I found an easier way to kill the thing. So we actually did come up with an easier way to shut this thing off. My buddy the Mud King, who's got a lot of experience with diesels, came over and showed me what to do. But as it turns out, this is the throttle adjustment lever. You would adjust your throttle to the right idle and then tighten it down and it holds the throttle in that position. Now, with this thing in place, it makes it impossible to shut this engine off properly. What you have to do is actually physically unscrew this thing completely right out of the throttle assembly and you'll see now that that throttle is allowed to go beyond the off position which is where it needs to go to shut off. You do this, this motor shuts off instantly. But I just thought I'd let you guys know that because uh, I looked like a complete idiot you know in the previous footage so I thought I'd redeem myself with a little bit of knowledge. Um, but yeah things mounted in the Sears not driving yet but it's very very close. You guys better keep an eye out for these update videos they're gonna start happening fast and this thing's gonna be on the trail before you even know it so uh Thanks for watching. Hope you guys like the motor. Hope you like the startup. Plugging away on some updates, so stay tuned. See you later.